Now we are here at a car park, Hammerstein, which is below our way. And today we will hike uh, the Moslana summit. It's a part of the Watsman Massif and it's below the Watsman Wife, you know. And it's quite a mile to go and I hope we will make it anyway. So I know some of you are quite sportive and don't be disappointed when I have to turn back, you know. For me, for me it's a big deal. That's the first part of our hike. Isn't that appealing? We, even though it's nice here, we go just this gravel road up through the wood. So we almost see nothing at all, you know. And then we will come to an open meadow with a nice little creek and flowers. And when we go further, the valley opens, and there we'll see then. Uh, say what's massive and at the end of this valley we have to hike steep ahead and up to Kiroint and then we'll make a rest then we will go over meadow and then we are below the Moslana and then it will be a bit hard for me to hike then up. Now the next part of our hike started, you know. We are in an open valley and at the end of the valley we have to climb or hike up this mountain ridge to Kyrind. And it's a very nice valley and I really enjoy to hike it. Yes, the cows want to escort me to Kiroint. So funny. For me, it's a bit strange to hike alone, especially on such a high mountain. And there it is, the king of the mountains here, Mount Watsman. See ya, 
I guess yes, it is. So it's a Watsman house. Look. I look at this. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Now, so here we go. We now leave the river road and go to the trail. You see, that's my way and quite steep. We are now at the third part on our way to Kimbo Wind, the middle station, and a lot of insects following me. Now, there we go. There, where the light is, I guess there is our resting point, Kilroint, called Kilroint. Look, we are almost there. Making a rest here on this arm and have someone something to eat with me. Look. I have some cherries with me and I will plant here some cherry trees. So that's our way, at least a kind woman told me so. So we go. Yep, I guess it is. So we go. And here is the Maslana. Now it's quite a hike here to climb that up and I hope I can do it in two hours. At least Christina said I would have to take two hours to plan to go on Moslana. I never saw such beautiful yellow flowers look. They are quite big. Looks like roses. Yellow roses.
seems that we have chosen the wrong way. There's nowhere any side post who shows the way to the Muslana here. Now we found it. We are back on our trail. Now, there we go. This is the trail to the top of the Muslana. And people said it's rather steep. And so I just will fight to go up there. Oh, I can tell you. Look at that. Everywhere, everywhere have fallen trees. I have to climb over it. So the next. I will make a little rest. Then we go upstairs. Still had this from Christina and put it in the bottle of water because I need energy now, you know. I feel my my muscles burn out, you know. There's still snow here and I must say I'm rather out of breath. Look at the cross behind me. We finally made it. Now we're on some Muslana. I didn't thought I can make it on some parts where I rested on this hike. It's time I know. And I just enjoy it now. Now I enjoy some of the strudel and then we will hike back down to Amastil where our car is parked. Bye bye.